Good evening everyone, I am the Blue Badger, and I'm just going to tell you a couple of important tidbits while I go around collecting various chemicals within the building. Uh, you may have noticed in a message or two that I have set up a Twitter account for the Blue Badger, and I have done this so that you can easily get into contact with me if you have any questions, queries, or just want to know what's happening up with the next episode. I'm pretty sure there's a chemical behind here. Yep. You know, all these drugs, there's bound to be a big old needle at the end of this. That'd be enough to put any man off. No shame in that. You don't want to catch anything. One virus is enough for anybody. I'll gl gladly take leukemia to get rid of you, Clarence. As I was saying. Um, I have a Twitter account. It is www.twitter.com uh, forward slash superbluebadger. And as you might have noticed, I just instantly found this path into the other room. I did this bit, but I felt it would be best to catch it all in one episode for viewers sh viewership's sake. Considering that it's going to be one hell of an evening. So, we're going to move on. And I'm sorry, that's exactly why I cut the episode short last night. But I do know where everything is and how it needs to be done. I think you would prefer less cliffhangers and that the job were done properly tonight. So, please bear with me. I'm sorry this bit isn't quite so blind, but it's going to be pretty terrifying all the while. You can find more of the chemicals in here. I believe you can find them behind these, um, yep, these canisters of whatever. Nothing in the cabinets, I believe. Nothing at all. Bloody platforms. Actually, is it worth... Leaving that shut? I'm, I think so, actually. Let's try this. I'm going to leave that shut, just as an experiment. I walk into my basement every night and see that, and I always shake my head like this. Philip, you're probably used to it by now, but that one's slightly more orange than the rest of them. I wonder if it's, you know... Oh, that's all the chemicals. I forgot there weren't that many. This uh, zombie, uh, yeah, let's have a look, good look at him. Does he really need that? That tube hanging out from it? Well, the umbilical cord? Like, the fastened on umbilical cord? It's like a, um... You know, I, d I don't need to explain this to you. I'm sure your your minds can, you know, put something up. Oh, fuck. Sorry. I wasn't standing close enough to the machine. And one, two, three, four, five, six. That's all the co all the compounds. The order that you put them in does not matter. And this substance container has to go down here. Okay. Philip, let me live. Sorry, can't hear you pressing buttons. You'll never do it. You don't have the balls. Go on, I dare you. You're some coward, four-limbed freak. You barely evolved out of the swamp. You haven't got it in yet. I don't know about that. Just a moment, Clarence is going to say something while I try to explain these you buttons. See, I knew you wouldn't do it. That puts me in the steering wheel now. Ha! Oh, silver! I don't know about that, Clarence. Regardless. Anyway, so there are six buttons here. They go in the order of one, two, three, four, five, six. The bottom row is in reverse order, as if you read that note correctly in the previous videos. And they go in this order. Chlorine, two. Acetone, one. Iodine is four. That'll be this one. Be very careful. Bromine is six. Nitrogen is five. And sulfur is three. And viewers, it is time for the long-awaited arrival. The time that we rid ourselves of Clarence once and for all. Goodbye. You freak. And now it's just our own mind in here again. No more hallucinations. No more bizarre experiments, no more erasing the periodic table from our minds. Just good old-fashioned dumbass Philip. Now we can be a dumbass in, well, basically by ourselves now. Okay, yeah, that didn't work. 
just as a forward tip, I recommend going into this vent rather than anything and gra maybe grabbing one of these items, leaving it in here for the moment. I'm pretty sure you can guess what's going to happen. What a pretty body! Mine! 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 Uh, as you might have noticed, that Clarence actually doesn't seem to stick to the script that's on screen for some reason. Wait a minute. Did shop? Nope. Yeah, he breaks it down. The reason I haven't just gone jumped out and running is because there is now an air ventilation sh uh, shaft in front of the door, and we need to distract him while we move it out the way and get out of there. So long together. Why do you flee me now? Hi, Clarence. How's it going? Need to distract him for just a. And he will try to talk to us for a while. While he's distracted with that, we will try to escape. Fuck, we're dead. We're dead. We're dead. Oh god. Nope, we're down. Yeah, this is going to be difficult, because I have no painkillers, nothing, and I can't think of... There's nothing funny to say to this, I just want it to be rid of Clarence, and us out of here. So once I get through that doorway, I will, um... Well, I will let you know. Anyway, see you soon. Okay, welcome back, dear viewers. I'm going to have to make a little confession. I screwed up a little bit of this video, but I'm going to make it quick and as harmless as possible. It's not going to be blind, but trust me, it's not that important. So, a better way of escaping Clarence is, actually, just to close the door and exit normally. Because now that the door is closed, he's going to be stuck on it for a while. So now we can escape with ease. Just like that. Easy enough. So yeah, Clarence is dead now. They just murdered him. Right in front of us. Hooray! Do not be alarmed. This place is your mind, mankind. If you know yourself, you are nothing to fear. I, on the other hand, stand to lose everything. One came before. Mankind, how wild. He was not strong. Mankind as a whole was stronger even than I. But I know mankind is weak. Nonetheless, I do not underestimate you, mankind. I submit to you. However, I must, against my own desire, tempt your anger further. Mankind is not united as I am. Such a seething mass of individuals. Little wonder you all pull in different directions. All of me pulls in one direction. And for that reason alone have I vested those that disturbed me. I will test your reactions, mankind. I will test which direction you pull. And then you shall have your answers, and if need be, your revenge. Great. I could always do a little bit more revenge.
Okay, I'm going to blaze through these puzzles. Hey! Hey, through here! Pass me that pipe, man. I can get us out. Come on, we haven't got much time. Okay, Fred, let me just, um... Let me just pass you this pipe. Okay, stay there. I'll be back. Thanks, buddy. Uh, you, you're coming back for me, right? Have this break. Oh. I owe you, friend. Good luck. You're gonna save me, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Thanks, Fred. Best friend we ever made in this game. Working together is the only way. I am just one, though I am many. Thank you, mankind. These puzzles aren't exactly hard, to be honest. They're more so based around trying to think like some outright hive mind. And in the rendition that I did um, previously, which I accidentally screwed up in a previous recording, I killed this turn guy, and for cano canonical reasons, I'm going to have to kill it again. So you understand where I pick up in the next episode, so it doesn't seem like I'm just talking like I'm crazy. I killed him better last time, I promise. I killed him in one hit. Come on, damn it! I'm trying to kill you! Anyway, what happened I will explain for the next episode. I ran around, couldn't find anything, I tried to break that door open and there was no way. I killed the turn guy and I basically stop over here to the switch I couldn't find. Anyway, see you next video. Blue Badger out.